just going to show you how to screenshot a fabric swatch from a store and how to change that fabric swatch into multiple colorways. And finally, how do I identify an appropriate um, Pantone number for that fabric swatch? Okay, so to get started, go to your fabric store. Um, you know, a lot of you guys will probably like mood fabrics perhaps and find your fabric swatch. Okay, um, so here's a Silk Georgia that I chose for this. Um, maybe for the demo I should pick a different fabric. Why not? Maybe this time I'll do Charmeuse. So I'm gonna screenshot it. So you should know how to screenshot on your computer. Every computer is a little bit different. I'm on a Mac. Um, I'm gonna screenshot it so it copies to my clipboard. So I'm gonna hit Command, Control, Shift, 4. And then my cursor turns into this little cross. I can just click and drag what I wanna copy. Okay, so it copied something to my clipboard. So now I can actually um, open that in Photoshop. So I'm gonna go to Photoshop. I'll just say create new. And then I'm gonna use um, my document size to be the clipboard. So I'll just say create. And then all I have to do is paste it. And I love the keyboard shortcut, command V to paste. And there we go. Okay, so now to change this color to a different colorway. Um, I'm going to um, create a new layer and I notice my layers window is not open. So to open it, I can just go up to window and layers as well. Okay, cool. I don't need the background one. I'm just gonna get rid of that guy. Now I can hit add new layer, which is right here, create a new layer. Now, I want to select the color that I want to change. To do that, there's a select menu, and we're going to select the color range. Okay, um, to preview your selection, I definitely recommend making sure this is not on none and change it to grayscale so you can kind of see what you're selecting. And here's like a little eyedropper tool, so you just kind of click somewhere. Okay, so anything that's white is selected. Um, so you can either just click one color or you can also click this plus sign that will let you select you know, more than one shade as well. So that's a lot. I don't mind leaving some of it shaded there. You know, maybe I also click that. You can kind of play around and see what's best for you. I'm gonna hit Command Z. I'm gonna select just this much and see how it goes. I'll say, okay. Now, on the layers palette, now that everything, everything's selected, there is this little hue saturation filter because this will let us change the hue color. So I'm going to click that. And you should be able to slide it and look at that. You can see it's kind of going green in this case. You can change. If you're having trouble seeing the color really change, sometimes I turn on the hue really high so you can see like what color zone you're working in. Um, and then you know bring it back down <laughs> once I find the right color. You could change, you know, if you want it darker or lighter, all of that good stuff. So I'm kind of working towards some kind of like, I guess a minty green or just am I too saturated? Let's see here. Okay, so let's say I like this green color. Um, I'm pretty good. Um, so in order now, I want to get this on my Illustrator file. And I think the easiest way is to flatten my layers. So I'm going to go to layer. I'm going to say, say flatten image. And then now I can select all by just hitting command A. Or maybe you like to use your selection tool either way. I'm going to copy it, command C. I'm going to go to illustrator and I'll hit command V. And there we go. There's my other colorway. Okay, so now I do need to assign a Pantone number to this thing. So what, now this is a pixel photograph. So if we zoom in, you're gonna see there's a lot of different colors actually. We have like a darker green here and we have like basically white over here. So we need to figure out on what flat color is this. So I'm gonna hit the letter M and just make like a box. I'm gonna hit the letter I for the eyedropper tool. And I'm going to try to figure out what color is this. You know, I know it's so hard with the light. I kind of think this is the color. Maybe it's a little lighter. I think this is the color I'm going to go for. And this is where you get to be creative and decide what is your colorway. So I'm going to choose kind of this dusty green here. Okay, so now you're going to um, 
copy the hex number. So I'm gonna double click this guy. Here's this number down here. It's selected. I'm gonna hit Command C so it's on my clipboard. Cancel. Now I'm gonna to go to the internet and we're gonna to go to um, our Pantone website and you're gonna convert your hex number to a Pantone number. Now it probably defaults to this um, coded book, but we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna choose um, the TCX. Let's see, or what else can we choose? Da, 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 da. Yeah. Let's see here. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna choose the TCX, the cotton one. And I am gonna convert the CM white or sorry, the hex number. The hex is so much easier because you only have to paste one thing. We could also copy the RGB, but it just it's more copy and pasting. It's less work to just copy the hex number. Okay, so here's what they recommend. They also gave us a few other options. So this is a great start. And if you guys are fortunate enough to have a Pantone book next to you, you would go open up that Pantone book and look at the actual swatches. But I realize we're doing this online and all of you guys have access to it. So choose whatever color you think is best and then that will be your Pantone number. So I'm gonna choose this one. Apparently its name is Desert Sage and then there's the Pantone number as well. I'm gonna just click on it. Ooh, let's try that again. If I click you, there we are. Okay, so it's, I'm just gonna copy and paste so I don't mistype anything. I'm gonna go to Illustrator, um, panning by holding the space bar. I'm gonna flutter V and I'm gonna select the type font that I already chose and I made a copy. Um, how did I make that copy? I held the option key, oh, again, I'm on a Mac. It's one of the bottom ones close to your space bar if you're on a PC. And um, I can just select it all and paste it. And there we go. Okay, get rid of those indentations. So there's my Pantone number, and then I also gave it a color name. You know, you don't have to use the Pantone color name. As a designer, you can always use your own color name. If you, know, if you think that Desert Sage doesn't really relate to the theme that you're designing, you can absolutely change your color name to anything you want, but the Pantone number is gonna be what's most important. Um, yeah, so there you go. So this is, I hope this tutorial helps you guys come up with your color swatches as well as how to identify your Pantone numbers.